Hi, it's Miriam Salpeter from Kepi Careers. I'd like to share a few ideas with you for effective follow-up. This week on the blog, I've been writing about how to make yourself stand out by doing all kinds of different tips and tricks that other job seekers may or may not do. And today I thought follow-up would be a great addition to the blog. First and foremost, the most obvious type of follow-up is a nice thank you note. Whether it's an informational meeting or an actual interview, it's important to always follow up with a note quickly. Yes, a lot of people think it's a great idea to send a fast email, but I'm a big fan of the typed letter that you send with a stamp. A lot of people also suggest that handwriting a note is very personal and is a nice touch. That's true, but personally, I really prefer the typed note. I think you can be more specific and pointed in a note that's typed, and it's personal enough the fact that you're just that you're mailing it and sending it with a stamp as opposed to via email. So, number one and the most obvious thing, a nice thank you note. Number two, anyone you meet, make sure you ask if it's okay to follow up by connecting on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a real obvious way to stay in touch, to keep up to date with their updates, and to see what's going on as they update their LinkedIn profile. Then you can always touch base and keep in touch um, with them about what's going on in their personal or career life, whatever they tend to share on LinkedIn. Another great idea is to set a Google alert for the name or the company of people you meet. That way you can follow up when there's news about that individual or their organization. This helps keep you top of mind as they hear from you and recognize your interest in them or their organization. They're more likely to think of you when an opportunity might come up. Finally, and something that I think is a little bit outside of the box, is to make sure that when you have a conversation with someone, you try to connect on a personal level. That might mean finding out where they like to go on vacation, what they did that weekend, what they enjoy, if they're a baseball fan, etc. Sometimes this is, more, this is more obvious and easy to do than others, but make an effort to try to connect on a personal level. Why is that important? Well, if, for example, you find out that someone you're interested in keeping in touch with is interested in, let's say, gardening. I like to use gardening as an example. Let's say they're interested in gardening. You don't have a green thumb and you've never grown a flower in your life, but you might happen to notice that in a month or a month and a half down the road, you have come across an article or a blog about someone talking about gardening or roses or whatever it is that was the interest that the person shared. That's a great opportunity to connect with the person again, send them a link to the article, even mail them an article if you find it in the newspaper, and say, no, I was reading this and I thought of you, I remember that you really, are in, you really enjoy gardening. This is a way to keep yourself on that person's radar screen, to connect, and really to be a head and shoulders above the rest. So I hope that these have been some tips that you might consider using in your job search. Again, I'm Miriam Salpeter, and read more on my blog, kepicareers.com. You can follow me on Twitter at kepi underscore careers. Thanks for listening.